chairs real quick before, and then I'll be around and we can all uh, be around too. Um, I want to start off with our, our recruitment vice chair. Uh, I want to mention something that, about, have y'all, uh, everybody have Netflix? <laughs> have you seen the new season of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? If you haven't, you need to go there. Because there's an episode that, that features the mayor of Clarkston, and the title of it is Make Ted Great Again. <laughs> again at our vice chair and he talked about the issues he's handling in Clarkston as a progressive mayor in a progressive community Thank you. and it was a good message for us as Democrats for the whole country. Join me in welcome and make Ted a great again. Uh, Ted Chair. Purchased by the Fab Five. Thank you very much. Uh, I did uh, trim the resistance beard because we are resisting still, but uh, we can only resist for so long. Uh, we're on the offensive now. And I wanted to give a brief report. I really appreciate everyone uh, for sticking around uh, for about four hours now. I think someone's been here since about five hours. Um, so I want to talk about two things, where we have been and where we're going with recruitment. Um, we gather here today at the turning of the tide. There is a blue wave coming our way and it's going to hit Georgia. And unlike in years past, going all the way back to last election cycle to 2004, where we had a lot of would-be candidates who were ready, but maybe not quite ready and willing to jump on that surfboard and ride that wave all the way into a, a Democratic victory, they got stuck on the sandbar. This year, we have had the best recruiting class for state house, state senate, and local candidates, statewide offices in 14 years. Right. So just a couple of stats. Um, and this, um, this is really uh, due in large part to our local recruitment committees. Um, I've been in touch in the last two years since the March of 2017 with over 50 local county committee recruitment committees who have been our eyes and ears on the ground, uh, the people who've been thinking about what that next election is and who do we need to uh, start talking to, what do we need to do to start building that bench. Um, uh, much thanks to uh, also our House and Senate caucus leaders, Bob Trammell and Steve Henson, for their work working with our local uh, recruitment committees. I want to highlight just a few that have um, stood out just in recent, um, uh, during this term and then the, the local elections of the Forsyth County Democratic Committee for helping uh, craft uh, a, a recruitment handbook. If you have not received that recruitment handbook, it's about 50 pages long. It's got some amazing advice that we've compiled from them as well as other county committees. Um, it's been a really good guidebook to think about uh, not just the local recruitments and how to recruit, uh, but also other opportunities to get people ready for running for office. Um, I want to hold up um, Gabe Okoye uh, with the uh, Gwinnett County Committee, who did an amazing job uh, recruiting candidates uh, for a local office in Gwinnett County for city council and mayor uh, last cycle, and then having a great recruiting class in Gwinnett this year. Um, is Krista Brewer still here? Krista Brewer um, also just want to hold up, who has been involved uh, going around the state recruiting uh, women uh, to run for office. And it is the year of the women, y'all, because uh, according to the staff that I'm looking at, we have, so we have 121 uh, challenged uh, seats this year, um, either challenging GOP or currently Democratic held. So out of those 121, um, 80 Democratic women are running for state house this year. Out of the 38 state Senate seats that we have uh, Democratic candidates in, uh, 26 are women. So the vast majority of our recruiting class um, is women. And this is great. And we, we saw our statewide candidates as well. So we've got, I think, a compelling message um, 
uh, and compelling candidates that are running that hopefully will increase turnout uh, across the board. Okay, so where we're going. Um, so we know we've got recruitment committees in a lot of our county committees, um, but we don't have them in every one. And so our goal, and the goal has been since the 2016 election, is to make sure that we have people on the ground in every single county that are now that we're forming an official uh, lar you know, large recruitment committee, if the bylaw um, section passes, uh, to work with. Um, on the ground. Um, you all know what's happening in your local politics. You know what's happening in local city elections and county commission elections, school board elections. You know what spots are open on planning commissions and parks boards. There are tremendous opportunities for us to identify people who are already uh, leaders in your community who should be running for higher office, but also thinking about people in our community that should be appointed or applying to these other positions to get government experience, to learn Robert's Rules of Order, uh, to learn about policy. Um, so these are great proving grounds for us to build that bench in the future. Um, we've mentioned that we have a state committee, uh, our state convention coming up. Um, you know, if you've been to state conventions in the past, these are, you know, like democratic conventions. They're, they're meant for the broader democratic community. And so for the recruitment committees and people who are just now forming or thinking about the recruitment committees, if you've got people who you are like, yep, they're going to run for office one day, or I'm thinking that this is someone that we should involve, this is a great opportunity. Invite them to come to our state convention. All right, this is a chance for them to hear from all of our statewide candidates, from our leaders, hear speeches, maybe we'll have some food there. It's, it's a big party, I think. Just think about the DNC convention and how important it is to bring in new people. So this is a great opportunity for us on August 25th uh, to bring new people who may not be coming necessarily to county committee meetings or who won't even come to state committee meetings, but can participate and see how vibrant the Democratic Party is in Georgia. Um, and uh, finally, so as we uh, embark upon creating an official recruitment committee, it's going to be really incumbent upon us to embed the principles of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the candidates that we recruit for office. Georgia is changing demographically. Uh, we want the Democratic Party and the candidates that we recruit to represent the broad diversity of Georgia. We're going to win more elections by putting up people who look like people that we are serving. Um, so this is something that I've had the, the pleasure and the privilege of being trained on in the last several years through my work with uh, the AFL-CIO and the Sierra Club, and I'm looking forward to tr translating some of those um, there's trainings and principles into our recruitment committee as we move forward. Thank you all.